head is kind of... Okay. Whatever. Higher? Yeah. A little more. Okay. Down? Okay, okay. All right, you gotta go tad up just a little bit. What's up, guys? Let, let it build the audience. We're just waiting for a few more people to join this live feed, so hang in there for just a minute or two, and we're gonna get started. <clears throat> yeah, it looks good, I think. Right? Good. Can you guys hear us? Yeah, let us know if you can hear us. The camera's on that side now. And yesterday was on the other side. Yeah. What's up, guys? I, was I need to be a little higher. Oh, man, because now I have to look on the opposite screen to look at the comments. Oh. Let me tell you. We're closer? Before the camera and the comments were together. It's weird. All right, talk to people or not? Talk All to right. them. <laughs> I don't know. All right, get in here. All right, we're going to start this live streaming video here in the next minute or two. Oh, our heads are cut off. That's okay. <laughs> All right, I'll fix it. Sorry, we're still getting our camera fixed over here, not trying to cut our heads off. And you can actually uh, see what we're going to be doing here, but we're going to be doing some unboxings. And then uh, we're going to be doing a Q&A. And I've got a bunch of boxes here. I went to the mailbox finally. Sorry guys, I want to say sorry right now because I got to look at the comments on the other screen. So I'm not going to be looking at you. So I'm going to be going back and forth. So I apologize. Uh, but before it wasn't like that. So now I got to go backwards and forwards. Um, so Maybe I sorry the about upside that. Down? I think you flip it the other way. because right, Next time I can't do it now. Anyway, yeah, next, how you guys doing? Unfortunately. Let me jump yeah. in. Let me just jump in and tell you about all these comments. They are flying by. We got a lot of people on. Thank you very much. Yes. Now, if you want, there's a way that you can pin a comment to the top so we have a chance to actually answer it tonight. We'll try and answer questions, but if it's pinned to the top, it's like a dollar. Super chat, what's it called? Yeah, it's like two bucks. Super chat or something. I think it's two bucks to. Uh to have one of those highlighted posts that stay at the top and that money gets contributed towards our channel so you're not paying you know somebody else or paying YouTube or whatever you think it might be but the money will be going towards us um, just so you know and I finally figured that out after a couple live streams so <laughs> all right well, let's get right to it anyways all right so I've got like I said I've got a I've got a bunch of boxes here went to the mailbox earlier this week and I hadn't made a run in a couple weeks just been busy and I do have some, I know I have some birthday gifts that are still needing to be opened. And my birthday was last month. My birthday was March 3rd. How old were you? So I turned 28 years old. <laughs> they're going to ask? I know, every video, we don't need to say our age. Well, but that's all right. Ask. It's all right. And, well, anyway, so yeah, I have my birthday last month. And um, so I know there's a lot more like presents still trickling in and stuff. So once again, I want to apologize for opening these a month late. I know a lot of these were received a long time ago, so you know I do apologize. Um, but we've just been busy, and uh, we try to space out these these unboxings so that way it doesn't get too boring, and you guys want to see new content and good stuff like that. And fishing. So yeah, lots of fishing, and then oh, this is just bottom. another side part of it. But um, all right, so I'm gonna go ahead and you want me to open the biggest first? Get to that big one. We got this big box. I, I can't wait to see what's in it. All right. Yeah. What's up, guys? Hi, Zachary. All right, I'm gonna be opening my first box. Here, what? Yeah. Now, why she gets to open that? I want I want to talk about a couple things because she has to open it and do all that stuff. Um, and one of them is a couple Seth events. It's fragile. Whoa, it's fragile. Could be good stuff. Oh, <laughs> open baby glass. Uh, but we're gonna be at a couple events coming up in the beginning of May. We're gonna be at the Bull and Cow uh, Mahi Tournament. That's the first weekend in May down in Marathon, uh, put on by Two Conks Charters and Big Time Tackle. It's going to be awesome. You guys should sign up for this uh, Mahi contest. It's one of the biggest ones around. And then uh, also we're going to be at Swole Fest, June uh, 7th to 10th. That is our first time going to Louisiana. We're very excited. We can't wait to get to Louisiana. So a lot of you guys have probably heard about that. The big charity event. They've donated mm -hmm. over a million dollars so far. So that's Swole Fest, Louisiana in June. Let's get to the box. Cool. All right. Thank you so much, Chris Crockett. This is a whole package just from Chris. He sent me a Star Wars happy birthday card because everybody knows that I love Star Wars. She loves Wars. Star Wars. Big Star Wars geek. Thank you so much, Chris. And happy birthday to you. Your birthday was March 7th. So oh, happy, happy birthday. birthday. And let's see. Oh, man. He even wrapped some stuff for me and everything. It's all wrapped up here. Very nice. All right. So I've got, let's see, four quick, quick meals, four busy days. For fishing when you're on a boat. That's perfect. Nice. That's really There's great. like some chili in here. Hold on. You, 
it. When we do, I guess I'll do it. I got some food. That's really, I really need that. Thank you. Awesome. Oh, Belvita, I love Belvita. that. Love this is Belvita. the good mac and cheese. Love Belvita. Right. Thank you so much, man. Look, I even got wrapping. I'm going to put I this in the refrigerator. So I, mean, I feel uh, like it's my birthday again. Thank you, Chris. All right. Oh, man, there's another box to unbox. Handgun cartridges. We do, do we have a handgun? No, something else in there. It's just a box. I don't know. Let's I'll hold help. it for a second. <laughs> Let me get the rest out. All right, so another chili kit. I've got another present in here. Oh my gosh. What's going on? I think that's not open, but it looks like it was re wrapped. But I don't know what sorry, I'm Chris, but I need help from wrapping these. You really need to wrap these tightly. Yeah, so this says top. All right, cool. So we got some stuff in got here. lights. We need that. These are good. An extension cord, I thought we use more of those. Thanks, man. Oh. What do you got here? I don't know. Don't know yet. All right, so opening the second package here for Chris. What was that? Did you know? Yeah, I did. Right. LED color changing lights. Look. Nice. All right, I'm getting there, I'm getting there. This is very slow. She's getting there. While she's opening these boxes, I'm gonna be giving you some information. Another thing we got coming up, we just signed a deal today with a new sponsor. I'm not gonna tell you if you don't have the product yet, but it's awesome. It's great. <laughs> Dear Darcy Lynn, by giving you gloves and the electric fillet knife, I have high hopes you'll avoid a, you will avoid a potential and horrible catastrophe like <laughs> chipping your fingernail polish. That's ha, bad, ha, ha. Bad. My fingernail polish literally will get chipped within 30 seconds of being on a boat. I'm not wearing nail polish right now. <laughs> um, I just got tired of keeping up with it, honestly. So check it out. Rapala. Shiny. Electric fillet knife. That's awesome, man. That's very helpful. That Thank is you so, so much. nice. Thank you so much, Chris. That's huge. Oh, there's another thing in here. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, gloves. Oh. Always need those. We just used these gloves on our friend's boat today, and that's going to be in a video uh, oh, in a couple days. Oh, my gosh. I totally need this. Thank you, Thank you, Chris. Thank you. Best hand cream for outdoor activities ever. With, it's called Dura Cream. But with the stuff that I do, oh man, it's all too way too shiny. Can't even see it. Sorry yeah, for the like, glare. You gotta, you gotta hold it like a. Sorry for the glare, certain. guys. But yeah, that's awesome. My hands are like constantly super dry from the salt water, and I feel like I have man hands. So thank you so much. Those are awesome uh, presents. Okay, sorry, sorry. Thank you. It's called Dura Cream. It's way too shiny. Yeah. <laughs> Aaron and Rob. Let's answer said. a couple questions. Yeah, I mean, they're you. just mostly, I mean, they're just. I mean, we'll stop, I guess. You guys have any great questions so far? I didn't really see any questions. A lot of people were saying hello. They were, they were flying through, man. Yeah, they just slowed down there for a minute. But. We're going to answer the next three questions. Shoot. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to keep opening, wait for some questions. You guys are awesome from Cape Town. Wish you guys was in South Africa. I wish I was there too, Daniel. <laughs> I just said a few moments ago, I am 28 years old. And uh, congrats on your guys' marriage. We're not married. <laughs> Let's see. You got questions? You got questions, people? <laughs> How much do you drink on your B day? I actually, what do you mean, oh, drink? She means, he means B I think you do drink. Yeah. I, I mean, don't really drink, guys. Yeah. We're not big <laughs> drinkers. I mean, we do love our Landshark lagers. Don't get me wrong. I like to have a beer or two, but I don't go much further than that. Yeah, yeah, like in that big the land shark video that went up uh, last night. You know, I, I only had like yeah. two or three beers that whole day. <laughs> yeah. And Darcy probably had two. Yeah. But, uh, it's nice to relax after fishing with a beer, you know? Yeah, That's I don't it. think I actually drank on my birthday though. I think we were actually literally driving back from like the Keys to a different key in the Florida Keys and we were doing a whole big thing. So, anyways, yeah, I didn't drink too much. All right, so I've got another package here from Mark St. Pierre. Mark, if you're here, Mark. hi Mark. Hey Mark. You're a big fan. And he's always commenting on the videos. Really and appreciate it. I'm gonna mention. I'm, this is gonna tie in Patreon.com very nicely. Yes. Go ahead. All right. So she calls. Well, she reads Mark's letter. I'm gonna tell you guys a little bit about Patreon.com if you haven't heard of it. Um, and it, it's a website to support uh, YouTube creators, and it's basically like a tip jar. And is a, a lot of our great fans on there, and they get uh, premium. And exclusive content, basically, like stuff they get first, like pictures and videos and 
it's just a little bit closer relationship. And I'm bringing it up today, um, prompted by, by Mark, an uh, incredible gift again. Um, but I don't know if you guys have heard, but YouTube is going through some changes with their ads. And a lot of big advertisers have pulled out. And poor Darcy here gets like a large percentage of her income from YouTube for those little ads on the bottom. Uh, they, they pay YouTubers, if you didn't know that. And that's our, her income from that is about cut in half over the last week due to these problems, uh, which hopefully will get fixed over the next couple months. But um, right now, she got cut in half. Frankly, it's, it, that's, you look at the news about that. Um, so if anyone wants to take a look at patreon.com and, uh, and support Darcy's channel and support you know, her supporting fishing and girls going fishing and kids going fishing and meeting all these great people and, and supporting them with these events and uh, like a beer can, um, please check it out, patreon.com. And we have the link in all the descriptions of all the videos and all that stuff. All right, what'd you get? You should go fly fishing in Colorado and do so trout fishing. Do yes. some trout fishing. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just getting into fly fishing. So one of these days, hopefully, I'll be real good and good enough to go in a river and cast. Right, but, and, and but not right now. And you Whoa, guys, they just went flying. Through. Yeah, happy. They, what's oh. up with Brian hair? Everyone's asking. What's up with Brian I need, hair? Bro, I need a haircut. I, I'm. I give Here it to you. Here we go again with this haircut. Guys. I need a haircut. I know. All right, so let me get. To well, let me just finish up with that fly. The fly. That thing about the trout. Okay. I mean, perfect. you guys are, people are always saying you should go here, go there. We'd love to. We'd love to make these incredible videos in the Bahamas and in Montana and Canada and Alaska. Uh, that Patreon.com thing, you know, even a dollar is, is more than enough. Um, and then we'll be able to create the sickest content channel, the fishing uh, you've ever seen in your life. All right. So that, that's, that all ties into yes, that too. Yes, that's definitely our goal. We got to get there. And, you know, we do need the funds to travel the world and do all these great things. So. One of these days, we'll be doing that. Right. Great to you. They, you, got, you guys are the great fans. All right, so let me just get to Mark's gift really quick. Yeah, Thank yeah. you so much, Mark. You gave me a Rapala. Man, the glare is terrible on this. All right, so right. there's the Rapala. No, you know what I mean? It's just way worse. Why is it doing that? It's because we got big lights, man. Turn down the light a little bit. We can't show Let's anything. Turn down the way. It's a Rapala. All right. Sorry, guys. Trying to deal with these lights and every, it's like messing up every single item that I have. I'm sorry. All right, so and then he yeah, also it. sent me. It's a peacock me, color repellent. It's great. He also sent me some left-handed scissors. I'm a lefty, so awesome. perfect. Love lefty perfect. scissors because you know lefties are always using righty scissors and living in a righty world. So righty awesome. rule. Righty rule. And then rule. also some zoom uh, craw like uh, what's it called? Zoom super tube. Very nice. Those look cool. Thank you, Mark. Those are, these are for awesome pitching and flipping? Thank you so much. Um, I don't think so. I think those are more like rigged with a jig, but. Um, Thank you. Thank you very much. All right, next box. What's up next? Whatever you think's next. Get this one from Jason. You're not going to open it? You go ahead. All right. Her open. You guys don't want to see, see me open presents. I know a guy that gets boring watching all these unboxings. So. They get bored watching me. They don't get bored watching you. I'm apologizing. I need to put my glasses on and see these comments. Right. You open the box. Why don't you open it for me and then I open oh, it up? That makes that sense. Way I can read. That makes Perfect. sense. That's, so that's why that. she's the brains of the operation. Okay, so Jamie said, hey, how's your dad doing? Thank you so much for asking. My dad is doing very well. Um, about a month ago, I think, I had posted a video. I've gone fishing with him a couple times since about since like a month ago when I had given an update. But he was fishing with me. We caught a slot snook on his birthday, actually. And um, he is now asymptomatic of prostate cancer, which means that the cancer has stopped growing, uh, but like he still has the lesions and the bone issues that he had from the prostate cancer. So it's still in his body, but basically they have stopped it completely. So he is pretty much, you know, gonna be okay. He's still going through the procedures Did and whatnot and getting, well, I said I would open it. Oh. Sorry. Um, and <laughs> sorry, I keep getting messed up here. But he's doing very well, so he is going basically stopped with the prostate cancer. He's going to continue with taking the to toss testosterone pills and all the good stuff that he's got to take um, in order to stay healthy. So thank God my dad's going to be around a little. <laughs> my dad's going to be around a lot longer. So I'm very happy. Yes. Thank you for asking. All right. So Hi, Dad, now, if you're watching. Yeah. He's What's up, watching. Dad? I'm sorry. Yeah. My dad <laughs> is a big fan, too. He's always watching the video. So shout out to my dad, Tim. What's up? <laughs> All right. He's the first so, mate. He's Googing, too. Yes. <laughs> I invited him fishing last week on the Cobia video. He was there filming for us, and we got a Cobia in the boat, and he had fresh Cobia for dinner, and so did I. It was awesome. All right. So Jason Page sent me. 
I had said I was going to send a package a long time ago. Well, better late than never. Don't know how often you actually fish a fly, but there's a bunch to play with. Awesome. Next time after you go bone fishing. Sweet. Yeah, Anyways, y'all, I enjoyed the videos very much. You guys are awesome. Never Thank stop. You. Thank you. So I've got flies now. I've got a ton of flies now. Wow. These are perfect. These are going to slay fish. Oh, man. You got to show this one to the camera. Which one? This one? <laughs> that's not a fly. That was a guest that's star. A, that's Which a one? This one? rug this one? over there. That's a rug. The dirty rug. Oh, my goodness. You hooked me up over here. Look at these flies. No, you got to look at the under the flies, too. Look at these flies. Look at these wooden lures. Whoa. Just like they come from my tackle box already. The lures are solid wood and hand carved. If they look a little bit dirty, I do apologize, but they were all tested and caught fish. Oh my gosh, way cool. No pressure, they caught fish till they got. <laughs> no, man, this that's single hooks. awesome. Wait, listen guys, for those of you just so you know who have sent me lures and have sent we're me fan these. mail in the past, I have a big box of all the stuff you guys sent me, and I'm actually using quite a bit of them now in salt water and fresh water, but I do have a box, and we're going to be doing a challenge one of these days real soon, where we're just going to fish with our subscribers' lures, fans' lures, and we're going to try to catch fish, and we'll just have like some sort of challenge. Maybe if you guys have an idea for that, like as far as like what you think we should do challenge-wise with the lures, or what you think would be a cool idea, or vice versa, or take the lures to from freshwater lures to saltwater, vice versa, something crazy like that. But um, let us know, but I'm definitely gonna be doing that real soon. So for those of you who haven't seen your lures yet, you will. I wanna mention, you peacock bass guys, you know this is gonna catch a fish, right? Look at yeah. the popper. Yeah, definitely. You know this is gonna catch a That's peacock. awesome. He sent me so many flies for bonefish in here, I'm gonna be, Good for like the next year. Sorry, you can't see it with the glare. <laughs> awesome, awesome, awesome. Those are some Thank nice you very, lures. very much. That's incredible. Yes. I really can't wait to use these lures, frankly. Thank you, Jason. These are sick. I showed this one already. I'm showing it again. They've got teeth marks. Do they? Some of them do. This, one, this one's nice. I like awesome. the copper. This is my favorite. All right, we got to get to the next box. Next box. Let's go. Keep it moving, everybody. Keep it moving. We're already 20 minutes in. 20. <laughs> No time limit. No I'm time just limit. saying, 20 minutes. That's all fine. right, want to do this one? All right. Well, now, while she's opening that one, I want to remind you all, of course, that Darcy has these beautiful bracelets. Yes. <laughs> on the website, we're working on the t-shirt designs. I know you guys want the same t-shirts oh, that we have. Oh, backwards. There we go. And I keep on forgetting to call those t-shirt people back, the, the sale, sale people. Yeah, and, Ryan's uh, not nice. And I apologize. I've reminded him a bunch of times already. <laughs> Bus driver is driving over me. <laughs> CustomSailingShirts.com, yes. we apologize. Yes, that's over here. But, um, oh! Oh! I'm lures. very happy right now. What's in there? They're my favorite lures. All right, here we go. These are already lures? Nope. Or gambler lures? Or They're homework? my lures. All right, here we go. So <laughs> these are from Miss, from Mr. Rick. No! Here. I can't read that without my glasses. So what, you can't see that either. Brian can't see anything. He's blind. All right. This is mine. <laughs> it's my birthday gift. Happy birthday and anniversary. I'm a new you. follower on YouTube and Facebook. Enjoy watching the videos. Nice to see a lady not afraid to get her nails dirty. Brian, you're a lucky man. She's a keeper. She Hope you enjoy the lures. Let me know when or what video you're going to use them. I would like to follow. Yeah, again, I'm Just definitely going to do... No, we're going to do a <laughs> subscriber. We're going to do a subscriber lure challenge. Yes. And use all the lures. But these, I'm going to use on a regular basis. So let's see what colors we've got. Oh, we could always use this. I'm gonna listen before Go she ahead, even says it. anything. Show it. Uh, she was just asking. We had a discussion yesterday about frogs. I'm not kidding. Literally yesterday. Kill it, kill it. Ooh. And we're gonna use these to catch steel heads. Not steel heads. Is that what they're called? <laughs> steel heads. These. Thank you so much, Rick. You know, these are a couple colors I have me, actually. Touch them. But these are some new patterns too. I've never used. So I'm really excited to use these guys. If you haven't known this already, I'm going to tell you again. News flash. These are my favorite News. lures ever. I catch huge snook on them, huge peacock bass, big, big fish. This is the Yuzuri 3DS Crystal Minnow, the uh, suspending lure, 3DS Minnow 100, actually. Oh, the glare. 3DS Minnow 100. Let me handle, let me handle the we photography. never do it. Oh, we're doing it right now. I'll show them the, the 3DS on the side there on the bottom, the other the way. Yeah, yeah, show them that model. Yeah, 
Oh, it's backwards. Sorry about that. 3DS Minnow 100 suspending loader. The link's in the description of every yeah. video. Not this video, uh, but it's in video. every video, so check that out. I want to help you guys catch fish too. I know a lot of people and fans who have bought these lures and have told me they are they, huge success. All the time. All huge the time. success. I kill it. So, she does. buy these. And thank you so much, Rick. <laughs> thank you. It's very, very subtle. No, I'm not trying. <laughs> I'm not they even work. Like, they work. We're not even like... Listen, I use them like all the time. All the time. Like, I, well, That's a big tip for you guys. And they're going to work all over the United States or wherever you are in the world. They're going to work. They dive about four to six feet deep and they suspend in the middle of the water column. So when you stop pulling them, they're going to stay right there. But these things kill it. Awesome. Thank you so that, much. She loves the big... She has boxes of these lures all over the house. And I, I find them from time to time. It's like she's hiding them from me. Well, he tries to make it sound like I have like boxes of lures, but I really don't. Not of uh, these. Not of these. Not the... I have different ones. She doesn't want... So thank you, Rick, for the additional them. lures. <laughs> They go just tea. It's great. It's great. Like he's like the trying to say, shoes, don't send guys. me fan mail, guys. <laughs> what he's trying, trying to say is, you lose these lures. They get in the water. Brian throws them in trees. We don't get them back. You know, we constantly are losing lures. So thank you so much. All right. Next the next one. ever now. The next, next video one. has a lure so high in a tree. How high is a lure? It was. We had to get a stick. It was crazy. We, <laughs> I had to get a stick to poke the lure. It was so high in a tree. Uh, it was the worst cast ever. It's in the video. It, the video is coming out uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow. It's yeah. uploading right now. All right, open this up so I can read some comments right, you need some here. comments. Yeah, I've been trying. Brian, do you cut your hair with a fillet knife? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, with the hair. Oh, crap. When I go to, here's what happens nice. when I go to the barber. I tell nice. them the number one criteria for cutting my hair, the number one factor is speed. i got to get out of there fast. <laughs> All right, do you have any other collabs with any other YouTubers soon? Um, currently, we don't have any plans in the works. We've talked about this in other videos as well. We've reached out to people. They don't respond or they don't want to fish with me. They don't like us. You know, they, they don't like us. I don't know what's the issue with it, but there's a lot of other fishing YouTubers out there we have reached out to and they don't like us. But um, <laughs> it is what it is. That's all I could say. Who turned and we us don't down need, recently? And we don't need don't to fish know. with them, honestly. We just keep doing our thing. Just saying. Um, but, you know, like Land Shark Lagger from... I'm um, Land Shark Lagger. Land Shark Fishing TV. Um, we're going to do Victor, soon. I spoke to Victor today. We're going to be fishing with him real soon. We love that. We've done a few collabs with them already. They're awesome. They're just a smaller channel. But if you're looking for those bigger channel guys, yeah. They want nothing to do with us. They don't want nothing to do with us. They don't want nothing to do with us. None of them. None of them. Zero. Zip. Whatever. So, it is what it is. I'm sorry about that. All right, so let me go ahead and answer another video. Dominic, hey, I love your videos. Thank you so much. You RC, so much. love your vids. Thank you. Brian is not high in a tree unless you have to... Oh, that just disappeared. Where is the Louisiana event? It is in Grand Isle, uh, Louisiana. It's called Swole Fest. So I actually just put a post up on our Facebook uh, today. as a link to their What is Swole Fest video. It's a great uh, highlight video. It's on our Facebook right now. And, or you just go to swallfest.com or swallfest on Facebook or just Google Swallfest. And in Grand Isle, 7th to 10th, I think it's a couple day event. We're gonna be there the whole week. We're gonna be fishing, having a great time, hanging out with everybody in town, and it's gonna be a ball. He said, dude, grow a beard. <laughs> Brian doesn't need a beard. <laughs> Thank you. <Just> and thread. <laughs> <laughs> doesn't need it, doesn't need it. All right, here we go. You've been told. So this I one is from Wayne. Darcy and Brian, I was watching a live stream that you did a while ago where your battery died in your phone. I'm sending you this battery pack to avoid that problem if you don't have one already. Just keep it charged and plug your phone into it when you need it. It could also be charged with solar power. We were literally just I talking need this. about buying one of these like I need this. a couple thank weeks you. ago. We didn't buy it. So, but thank you so much. This, this is, is really this is really like a helpful thing. I mean, this is honestly like something. This is a huge help. Because, you know, honestly, we're on the boat all day long and, and, and she's fishing and I'm on the camera and filming and phoning and doing all this crap and business and this is phenomenal this is a really great 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 idea thank you very 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 much i mean it's awesome and it's got the cords and i put that back in the box it's even for apple it's got the lightning connection thank you so much that's really really put good put that in that box just so you I get them keep all together yeah i got it yeah all right all right star sizzle how old are you all right <laughs> i'm 28 years old i just turned 28 last month um and yeah, if you're just tuning in, I did mention that a couple times earlier in this video. I'm not upset or anything, I'm just repeating the answer. That's all. All right, so here we go. 
Oh man, somebody somebody keeps sending me these from Walmart and uh, like there's the drop no shit? Yeah, and there's like no oh okay, here we go. It's by Aaron Moron. Mor Moreau, sorry, Aaron Moreau. And he just sent I'm me a rooster read. tail. I know everyone loves these things. I wanna see. Apparently these love these things I'm kill the, it. Let, let we have a ton of these. Oh yeah, these are like the, the blue things. Yeah, those I don't know why you can't see it. Ugh, you have to fix this issue. Oh, it's fine. Everything glitters. All right, that's awesome. Okay. We got, Thank you, know, you we have so a, much, Aaron. Thank you very much. Yeah, that's like those blue fox lures a little bit. With, and uh, so, you know, I'm just saying we don't use those a ton, or we, we want to use them, but we gotta get in some clear water. And a lot of times there's a lot of weed around here, so sometimes yeah. it's like a sinky treble hook lure around here. Yeah. The bass is sometimes tough. I'm sure we can use that in salt water too. Honestly. No, we can. Of course, I'm but, just saying. But um, yeah, you're not gonna probably see us use it in the next couple weeks, but we're definitely gonna use it for sure. Yeah. For sure. I want to use it in the salt too. Yeah. Yeah. We got a lot of those. So she's gonna open that, and I'm gonna take this opportunity again to mention uh, if Go we ahead and open it. if we just turn it in right now about the Patreon. Oh my gosh, we, we love take. you guys. Definitely join Patreon fans. What was that green one? That was them, Aaron and Robin. Oh. All right, so Aaron and Robin just donated $5. They said, we love you guys. Definitely join Patreon fans. It's very worth it. Brian and Darcy are great folks. I wear my bracelet every day. Aw, oh, thank you guys. You guys thank are you. way too much. Thank you so much. You guys are awesome. Really appreciate that. Um, so let's see, do you do charters? No, I don't do charters, but I do fish on a charter boat. Um, captain James Fenn of Controlled Chaos out of Palm Beach. He's a charter captain, so you would book a charter with them and then see if I'm available to come on that charter with you. And then we're just going to have a fun day of fishing, take a bunch of pictures, videos, all that great stuff. Um, how do you donate? Ernest, I think there's like a super chat button icon down in the message section below. There should be like a dollar sign thing there, I believe. I think someone had said. Right. Um, but you should be able to access that right below super the video. Chat. Right. Super chat with a dollar sign, I think you hit that. Right. Now, um, and I want to mention, again, the Patreon, it's another, that's one way that, uh, like, like Aaron and Robin donate on a monthly basis. And it, it's like a tip jar. So it can just be a dollar. It can be $20, but $1 it is fine. Um, and and again, you can be part of our, our Patreon page, and we have I think there's about 46 or 50 people on there right now. And you know, again, you know, and so we have a little bit closer talk to them, and, and they get stuff uh, sometimes before you, before everybody else does. Uh, uploads of videos, and uh, you know, like I, I talked about a sponsor before, and they heard about that a couple days ago, and you know, so so anyway, so it's it just like a premium access situation, okay? And, and again, it's only a dollar or, or whatever you want to give. We happy, you know, we're happy that you guys watch the videos. Period. Uh, right. This is sort of like an extra thing if you want to take it to that next level. And like I said, uh, you might have heard about YouTube. Darcy's earnings on YouTube are, are like cut in half because of the advertising situation on YouTube. Not because our, our viewers are down. The views are always up, and we have you know more viewers every day. It's just a miracle. Uh, and um, so that's that. What's in there, baby? Yeah, I just wanted to get to a couple things I had seen there too. Um, somebody said that my heart, my heart necklace was very pretty. This is actually bright and jewelry. Um, this is like very old. This is at least over five years old. I don't know if they still make it or not, but Bright and Jewelry has some great products. And most of the, the necklaces you see on my neck are from Brighton. And then I also saw a comment too earlier that said, how do I get one of those fish hook bracelets that I'm wearing? And um, you can get the fish hook bracelets on my website, darsizzleoffshore.com. Not in this video yet, but every single video I have, there's links there to the anchor bracelets. I have anchor bracelets, fish hook bracelets. Um, t-shirts. Some of them are sterling silver if you want some silver fish hooks. Fancy. I even have the t-shirts on the website as well. Calendars. Calendars. Don't forget the calendars. I have 8x10 eight eight autograph by pictures. So check that out, guys. Use the, click the link, the bottom, the, 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 the I can't talk, the arrow to drop down the description there and you'll get all the information and the links and all that great stuff underneath every single video. So yes, it's there. In the, video, in the description of every video. Yep. So or just type darcyslawshore.com. Oh. All right, uh, let's see here. Go ahead, go so I'm going to do my... Yeah, I just wanted to answer those two questions. Good idea. I'm sorry. All right, um, so let's see here. Actual fishing question. Here, you answer this while I wait. Okay. Actual fishing question. In the future, when when you upgrade your offshore boat, what would you choose and what would you power it with? All right, I got that one. Okay. All right, uh, my favorite boat, um, used boat, or well, is, is a 31 uh, Contender. Uh, you know, we've been on a ton of them, and we've been on a ton of boats, period, actually, but we really love the 31 Contender. It's really a perfect size. Um, what I power it with, 
you know, everyone's go-to is Yamaha. You know, there's kind of the, you know, kind of the song out there on the, on, the, on the ocean is that they're, you know, they may be starting to be a little more pricey than they're worth. So a lot of people are going with well, a lot of different engines. So like Suzuki is getting pretty popular right now. Um, so, you know, really the power, you know, my, with the power, I'll tell you guys, my opinion is it depends on who your closest dealer is. If I have a Yamaha dealer 100 miles away and a Suzuki dealer a mile away, you know, and I buy an engine and I want warranty work, you know, I'm pretty sure I want a Suzuki in that case, all right? So, you know, you got to take a lot of stuff in consideration because all the engines nowadays are, you know, they're, they're good engines. Oh, you know, my gosh. There's nothing wrong with them. What is that? Oh, my gosh. That's for you. Oh, my gosh. What kind of watches are these? Is that a pen? What is that? I don't know. Whoa. Hold on. Look at these hooks. Hold on, I gotta look at this reel. Now we got, so a 31 contender, a used one, and you know, I, you know I'll, I'll so shoot the Yamaha's, cool. you put, put two 300's on that thing, and you're gonna be doing about seven. Alden, thank you so much. These are so awesome. And he said happy anniversary no, it's like old and happy Garcia. birthday. This is yours, the handle's on the left, on the right. Dad, look at this. Happy birthday and a very late, happy anniversary. Managed by, here we go, read this on the camera. Look. This is from Hawaii. This package is all the way up from Hawaii. Here you go, this is his info. And look at these fancy, fancy watches he sent us. Oh my gosh. These are super fancy. Marsha and Alden. Look at this. What kind of watches are these? Glare, look at the glare. Tommy Bahamas watches. Look at this, Tommy Bahamas, pink and a white one and they got sparkles all over it. I've got two, Brian has two. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. It came in this very fancy box. Look Tommy at this Bahamas. Box. Super fancy, guys. Look how funny wow. my glasses look. What? Look how funny my glasses look in the things. Yeah, anyway. The ring. This is amazing. Show the watch. I did. I, I kind of oh, did. Look at the yellow one. That's like Land Shark Lager color yellow. Oh, it is. That's perfect. <laughs> it's perfect. Thank you so much. Wow. I'm just truly amazed by you guys. My fans know, I, are awesome. Our fans are awesome. You guys, like, wow. Truly incredible. Thank you so much. There's even like a very pretty shell necklace right here. Super pretty. I can't believe this real. Love it. This is awesome. And a little shot glass from Hawaii. Very nice. Awesome. You know, guys, I, I gotta, I, I gotta tell you, I, I, maybe I say this a lot, but it's like, I'm from New York, and I was, I'm, I'll tell you right now, I was an attorney for like 20 years, and I met this wonderful young lady, and we've been fishing now, time, and doing this YouTube thing for like over a year now. And well, we've been viewing YouTube like two and a half years, yeah, whatever, but full time, that's not, that's not the point, a year, right? And I mean, I, I just feel like I don't even know what to say about it. It's like I, we wake up in the morning and like we're going fishing, and then we're going fishing, and then we see people who are boating and, and they say how wonderful Darcy is, and, and kids come up and we give them hats at the sandbar, and it's really, it's it's like I don't know what to say, it's like incredible, it's like. I mean, I don't even know what to say. I mean, thank you so much. I mean, it's, it's, it's this is great. This is great. The watch is great. And get to the point. Get but to the it's point. all of you. I mean, it's really incredible. Thank Carlos, you very much. Carlos, thank you so say. much for ten dollars. Love the videos. Keep them gave coming. Us $10. I mean, thank you very much, Carlos. Truly appreciated. For real. Thank you so much. It's a. It's truly you an honor awesome. that we we're able to do this for you. And yeah, just like create some it's awesome It's literally content. incredible that someone can do this. It's just yeah, and it's just awesome that like not only like am I going fishing, but like. We're taking you guys along with us. Like, you're right there in the action with me. Like, especially with that whole tarpon battle. Like, that was intense. And a lot of you guys were just like, oh, man, it felt like I was right there in the boat. You know, like, it's just awesome sharing these experiences with you and fighting these massive fish and catching fish I've never caught before and just doing this stuff that I absolutely love to do, love to fish. Um, and I'm sure you know that by now from my videos because I get Jeez, excited. Fish. Like a little child, doesn't matter what I'm catching, I scream and make all kinds of noises and get really excited and that adrenaline starts pumping and I go crazy. But it's awesome sharing it with you guys. Wow. Poor watches. That's crazy. I mean, crazy. it's like... That's awesome. It's an honor. And, and you know, and we do... And 
I'm mostly here to, I just want to say, you know, and Darcy's going to be fishing for a long time. And, you know, she's only been doing this, like, three, you know, seriously, three, like, five years or three to five years. And, yeah. man, when this girl, with her passion and with your help and God willing, I mean, she is going to be someone in this industry who we can all really look up to and she can help, you know, get rid of some of these stereotypes. And, you know, we got, we got something special here. We got to cultivate it, guys. I mean, I'm telling you right now. And thank you very much. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's incredible. I don't yeah. know what to say. Thank I you. Do. Thank it's you. Like, I'm I think just, we like, awestruck. I think we got to the point there, but <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, sorry <laughs> we're we're like draining you out on that, but we just really do appreciate it. It's and we want to show you it's that, amazing. like, you know, we really do care, and like, we really appreciate the positivity and the support. It's Is that everything, honey? it's so awesome. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much. That's it for the packages, though. That's um, it for the package. You want to maybe package section is over. Thank you guys for the fan mail, and if you're interested in sending me fan mail, once again, that the that address, P.O. Box, is down in the description below. We're going to add it to this video very soon, as soon as we get off this video, uh, so we can add it there because it's live, so we can't really add the description yet. Um, but as soon as we do that, it'll be all in there, or you can just check some of our previous videos. All that information is there. Um, but, yeah, I guess put those cards back. But it's La Sevla La Sev Beach. I think this watch is even correct. Vacation it's rental. Even, is, it, is it 840? <laughs> Vacation <laughs> rental. Maybe they want us to stay over in Hawaii and go fishing. MauiLodging.com. Nice. Let's try. I'm, let's you. see if we can answer some more questions before we go. Yeah, I mean, another five ten we, minutes. Yeah. Let me see. I got my glove. Yeah, we're forty minutes in. Wow, it's flying by. It's flying by. It's flying by. It is eight forty. Thank you. Do you have a belly piercing? Watch oh, my me? videos. Me? They asking? Who they asking? I don't know, but you gotta watch videos to find out. <laughs> yeah, I mean, her belly's been on there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you gotta watch that. All right, let's see. Coming to Northwest Florida, not anytime soon, but hopefully in the near We're future. We're going to Northwest Florida. We're going oyster fishing and group of fishing with Ed, uh, Captain Ed, in September. <laughs> That's not anytime soon. No, That's, well, yeah, okay. Will you ever. Uh, it's going really fast. Yeah, that's okay. I mean, I'll I'll find, I'll slow find down one. No, I'll find. You don't have to slow no, down. No, I'll put my fingers no, no, on so you can no, read no. it. All right. Most of them are fine. Link up with John B. Yeah, well, we reached out to him. Doesn't, he wants no, nothing no, to do with us. None of those guys want to talk to us. Yeah, none of them. Telling Unfortunately, right John is an amazing editor. Don't get me wrong. We He's think those guys YouTuber. are great. They don't think we're that great editor. They don't want nothing to do with us. We sent John an email directly to John. No, nothing. I don't want to call anybody out, but I emailed right. everybody. Okay, let's see here. Let's see. Oh, all right. I will. I'm not screw I'll get the back Googans. on this. Well, uh, you know, <laughs> I didn't the Googans say that. doing a fabulous Somebody job. Else said that. I, didn't not, say I didn't say that. I didn't say that. But I tell you that. I mean, I don't understand why they come down here. I mean, as a business matter, and they fish with people. What, we love the Googans. They don't want to fish with us. That's fine. Yeah, yeah. Whatever. It is what it is. Like I left love to say. That's my <laughs> like saying say over here. How about electronic sponsors? Um, I reached out to some a bit ago, but you know, we don't really have any. Or with ACR Electronics. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think it probably means like, uh, you know, chart plotters and GPS. We don't really have any right now. And we're not really, it's one of the things with sponsors that, you know, we, something we want to use and something that works into the videos. Do you have a bikini sponsor? No. No. That's one thing I do not have. We would love I a never sponsor. ever get contacted by any bikini companies. Not sure why. Maybe you don't like an athlete in a bikini because they want a model. I, I don't know. She's a model. No, they, maybe they want like an actual model girl in the bikinis and not like an athlete, no like, one's a girl, than like a fisherman like me, like that's actually Nobody. hardcore, no, no, like no. fishes. But I don't know, they don't want me, so I don't have one of those either. All right, uh, let's see. There was a really long one a second ago. Love the shirt. Is it for sale on your site? Good. Yeah, you gotta check the site, guys. There's many of different kinds of, of shirts. They're v necks long, like long sleeves, They're a huge regular, selection. Like huge. regular ones. Ones that are UFP, that are performance shirts, are called performance long sleeves. And there's all different colors, so if you select one of the shirts, you're gonna have a whole range of different colors to pick from. And uh, there's a lot of great stuff there, so you guys gotta check it out. Um, on your own, darksizzleoffshore.com. But yes, there is something very similar to these shirts we're wearing Store there. Store tab. All right, um, let's see. How do you remove the fish smell after a long day of fishing? You just, uh, go fishing the next, you just go fishing the next day. You don't worry about it. You get a shower. Keep fishing. You get a shower. <laughs> just keep smell fishing. comes off. I mean, I've never had the issue where, oh, like... Get that soap. I Shout out time. I've never had the issue where, like, I've, you know, had a, like... 
had like a spishy smell like for longer than no, here we go, here we go. you know a day like that, that doesn't happen you just yeah, take listen, a shower and you get fish the next day here we go these guys said that this soap a long time ago de fishing soap it might be backwards this stuff is really good and it works <laughs> so check this stuff out please these guys sent me this stuff and I was supposed to tell you it about works, it like a yes. year ago and I never did so this is like my bad but yes. this, we, you actually and you can this is the big one and you can take these little ones out on the boat, you know, when you go to the fillet table yeah, or whatever you want. Yeah, these at the fillet table, they're really good because, you know, they're really good. fillet and fish, you know, you do get all that, the guts and stuff all over your hands and the blood and all that good stuff. So, yeah, those things work. Definitely check them out. Definitely. All right. Do you have men's jewelry? Well, you know, the fish hook and the anchor bracelets are considered unisex. So, if you check those out, I've had a lot of guys buy these bracelets already. Um, it just goes by color. Yeah, Blue it goes is for by you color. and pink is for the girls. I've got That's like 30 it. different colors on the website to wow. pick from. A lot of guy colors to choose from. A lot of popular ones. The black one is like the most popular. The gray and all that good stuff. But yeah, those are men's bracelets. One size fits all. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Let's see here. Happy birthday, Darcy. Thank you very much. Uh, let's see. Ooh, look at that one. Uh, hey. Hey, Jacob. What's up? What is a good snook light lures? Oh, I missed that one. Snook lures, A to Z snook fishing. Yes. And we love those Uzuri. So we have a video A to Z snook fishing and every snook video she catches them basically with the same lure. So please check out those videos. Yep. All right. So if you guys have a few more questions, let us know right now. We're gonna be wrapping this up here in the next few minutes. So if you got something important that you want answered or something you want to tell yeah. us or whatever, go ahead. Start writing. <laughs> yeah, if waiting. you want to pin it to I'm the reading. top, I'm reading with the super chat that, that'll definitely get your question answered. <laughs> they fly by really You're quick. welcome, Jacob. <laughs> he said, "Oh my God, you said my name." <laughs> yes, I said your name. Hold on, that one was important. It was okay. How? Oh no, I thought he had a different question. Do you still have calendars? Can I get one autographed? Of course, yes, of All course. Guys, check my website, darcizzleoffshore.com. I've got calendars. We bath got bass calendars, calendars, salt water calendars. Yes. Eight by tens. We've got a lot of that stuff over there. You can Get still the get them. Around. I've actually got quite a few still left, Any so you can definitely around? get that. There's one right there by the by the door right there on the floor by the door, right there. You just passed it. The door right there. Yeah. Right there. Yeah, those are all calendars. Okay, sorry about that. He's getting some calendars to show you guys what I've got. Um, Brian, what lures do you use for striped bass in New York? You know, I, I haven't fished. I didn't really catch a lot of striped bass up there. Um, we used to use, what did we use? Hopkins. And we use, dude, I haven't fished for striped bass there in like 30 years. And Hopkins and that blue and white popper. I forget what it was called. But here's a saltwater calendar. And we also have a bass calendar. So... Check them out, and there's also big ones. What is the largest shirt you guys carry? I, I think it's, it's like, like a triple XL. I think it's like a triple XL. It's um, it's through Spreadshirt.com. Some of the shirts might be a little larger, and other shirts might be a little smaller in size. So honestly, you're just gonna if you like one of those shirts, you're gonna have to click on it and just see you know what's available there because uh, there's a company that actually like makes your t-shirt and I'm like makes it like according to what you want, the color and the size and all that good stuff. So you're gonna have to like really check that. I've got like over 50, 60 products there to choose from. So if you like one in particular, click it, and it may be like it may go down to 4x or 3x, but I think. I think most of them are 3x just a heads up um all right let's see here do y'all go flounder fishing uh no i've not we go flounder fishing she's no, got a couple Texas, flounder right? you know flounder aren't really here where we live they're more up a little bit north like fort pierce and stewart and north of there and we'd love to get up there more often we're trying to get to sebastian forever and uh so really the answer is not too much no but we'd like to do some more flounder fishing Mutton, mutton, mutton. I love mutton ceviche. Brian, what kind of law did you practice? Uh, mostly real estate and real estate related uh, litigation. But I had, a, you know, I had a bit of a general practice in New York for many years. So, you know, I have a pretty good general knowledge. I call myself like a blue collar lawyer. Like people come in with their problems and I help them fix them. But a lot of real estate based. Darcy, have you ever gone sturgeon fishing? No, I never have. I would love to one day. But usually all of like pretty much all the saltwater fish here in Florida, well, I've caught pretty much for the most part, um, like bonefish and sailfish and stuff like that. So if you're interested in looking for a specific species of me That's catching that fish, I have like 320 videos to check out. Be careful. Don't hit it. Don't hit it. You're going to switch the screen. 
Okay, sorry about that. Just fixing a, there's a little like highlighted message on my like phone there. Like a notification. There. Yeah, from my website. I think somebody placed an order. Thank you. All right, uh, so yeah, so I haven't got sturgeon fishing, but there's a specific, little, specific species you want to see me catch. Hit on my channel, go to my videos, search my videos, and type in bonefish, type in sailfish, Mahi. type in mahi. They're all going to pop up. I've done spear fishing, you, diving, I've done of, you can, all kinds of great stuff. Diving, yeah, you can also just do that on Google, like regular Google, Darcizzle, mahi. You're going to get it. Yep, yep. Trust me. Just type Darcizzle and whatever fish it is, it will pop up. What do you want to do with your criminal justice degree? Thanks for the question, Patrick. Um, currently not going to do anything with that degree. It's just under my belt now. Um, it was something I was interested in when before this whole fishing thing started, um, and I continued with it and just finished last semester in December and got my bachelor's, but I am currently don't have any plans with it. It's kind of like a fallback right now. I'm focused on YouTube, focused on fishing, so it's really awesome doing what I love to do. And, you know, if something does happen in the future, you know, I have my degree to fall back on. But currently, I'm not going to do anything with it. But it's nice to have under my belt because you never know. Oh, there's one. All right, Antonio charged 10. He, all right, Antonio. Yeah, we, got, we got a pinned super chat, guys. Here Antonio it is. Antonio Yaman says, yeah. Thanks, man. I donated $10. Thank you so much. Do you like whale watching? Honestly, I have never seen a whale. I've never gone <laughs> whale watching. That's actually something really, really cool. She, I always yes. thought it you. was super cool. She, I can answer this question for you. <laughs> we don't really have whale watching here. There's not a lot of whales. No. Um, but she, you can see though. You can see a whale shark on a very rare occasion. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> anyway, but that's something to do more up north in the colder weather, and she would love it. She really in, one reason she loves fishing so much because she's really into like the animals and, and you know and the zoology and, and all that biology stuff. And so was her dad, and so you know they grew up doing that. So she would be she would love that. She would. Love yeah, that. one day that's definitely on the bucket list for sure. I would love to see that one day. But she still points to porpoises. The porpoises. Yeah. We're down in Florida. No one really <laughs> locals don't. There's really porpoises do. everywhere. New order. Thank you. New order. Somebody ordered a bracelet. Someone Thank got a bracelet. Thank you so much. Same. Thank you so much. Again, with the darcizzleoffshore.com is the website. Yep. And you can go there and, again, t-shirts, calendars, whatever. Nice seeing you fish with your dad. Me too, Josh. My dad is awesome and he is totally a huge, huge help on the boat. And actually in that Cobia video, the very beginning of the video there, he was filming that. Like he was up yeah. on the bow there and like... He did really... When that fish came rocking down. Rocking and like... Yeah, my dad was that like... Was really good shot. All on top of everything. Thank you so much. Antonio Yaman, another $5. Another Thank you chat. so much, Antonio. Same guy. I love you guys. Up, 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 up. Super chat. Brian is the same guy. I love you guys. Keep doing your thing. I'm from Miami. Just trolling. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. That's awesome. Thank you so much, Antonio. We really do appreciate it. And you know, a lot of the fishing we do offshore here is going to be very similar to what you're going to do down there in Same Miami. Thing. So, you know, like take as much tips as you can. We give you as much tips and tricks as possible. So hopefully that helps you out there and you catch some fish. Thank you so much. Uh, let's see. What about ice fishing in New York? You know, one of these days I would like to do some ice fishing. I've never been able to do it before. I would like to just do it just once. Just once, just so I can say I did it. Uh, but I'm not interested in the cold weather, the ice. That's a big no-no for me. I think I'm just gonna freeze my butt off and have no fun just sitting there on the ice. So, <laughs> just being honest, I like the sun. Just I love catching honest. fish in the sun. So, you know, the ice, I've seen the ice fishing videos and just like they're Ooh. bundled up and it just looks like it's freezing. So one of these days, I'm going to try it. One of these days. All right. Um, will you guys ever go hunting? We've gone hunting. Tell them where to find it. Yes. We've gone, <laughs> we've gone hunting. We went regular hunting with a gun and didn't hit anything. No. And we've gone alligator hunting. Um, and so those videos are up there. Again, search for those. And we're actually talking to some guys, right, a fella right now. Uh, I'll give him a shout out. Ranger Proof. If you guys are into guns, you probably yeah, heard of them. Yeah, someone just asked about the AR-15. Someone just asked. We're in, we're to, I was just talking to the guy today. We're going to get it all set up. We're going to go shoot a bunch of crap safely with the proper precautions. And it's going to be awesome. What's Ernest that? Silver. Uh, Ernest Silva. Sorry about that. Just donated $20. Thank you so much, Ernest. Thank you, much, Ernest. Much, much appreciated. Thank you. Um, what kind of gun screen do you use? And that I uh, just missed that. So like just that. whatever sunscreen we have. They're we flying we by. We don't really get crazy Yeah, there's that. no particular sunscreen. Um, you know, fig at least 50 SPF and further up. So, yeah, and we're reapplying all day long every day. So, 
Um, the harder it is to rub it in, the, the, the better it is for you. Yeah. That, that, I actually you know, go, honestly, stuff is the best. honestly, I just buy the brand name, whatever the store has, their brand. Costco. I'll buy, yeah, Costco or Walmart or Walgreens or whatever it is. I'll buy their brand and I'll buy it in the baby sunscreen. The baby sunscreen has a little bit less of some certain chemicals yes. and it also is harder to rub in, but that stuff really works like compared to the other sunscreens the out white there. Stuff that, you know, the baby you... stuff really is right. the real deal out there. So that's what I buy, honestly. That's what I yeah. use. And the, the most important thing, honestly, well, besides putting it on many times, put it on before you leave the house in the morning. That's what I do, guys. I spray all around, put it on my face, and I, then, I, then I leave the house, and it's still dark out. All right. I, this guy's been asking this question a couple times now, so I'm, we're Oops. just going to go ahead and answer it. Yeah. Question. Crap. It's gone. Well... Well, somebody just, just asked about an ambassador 5500 um crap it's gone Real? now yeah and it's pulling it up with like 50 pound braid or something if that's a good deal or something I question know. i bought an ambassador 5500 for five it says the dollar it says five with a dollar sign and put it 50 pound braid on it it's a good deal please answer i'm not really sure i i'm not really sure what you're talking about yeah, I'm not sure what the ambassador 5500 is, but I tried. I'm sorry. Um, how long have you been fishing? I've been fishing since the age of three years old out of Miami, Florida. Um, let's see. Bow fishing. I do have bow fishing videos, guys. Check Google. type bow fishing in Google or my YouTube channel. They'll all pop up. I have I some have great bow fishing videos. Yeah, they're very they're good, good bow fishing videos. They're very good. I actually shot some fish, too, so it was awesome. Um, all right, this is a good question for you. For me? So you awesome. guys... So did you guys just pick a new camera and start making videos, or did someone help you get a lot of foot, get a foot in the door? Oh, for me, I guess. Well, um, part of the question is we have a best, is, what's the name of it? Our, our, I don't know, the video is like our camera gear. Our best camera equipment. The best camera, whatever, how to make YouTube videos or something like that. Anyway, we have a camera gear video, okay? Just Google that. And I go through the progression from starting with just a cell phone and taking images for her for Instagram all the way up until what we're doing now. Uh, but the answer is, you know, Darcy and I just, you know, we started dating and, and fishing together because we both love the fish. And I was, you know, we we're fishing already, so we started doing it together. And it just kind of grew from Instagram to Facebook to YouTube to Twitter. And all the way, she's getting better on camera, and I'm getting better with the camera. And I don't really think I'm that great yet, but, you know, uh, and so that's really how it went. And I pick up things when I see other people doing stuff, like Sam Root and. Justin Kellefis and other great people I've had the opportunity to work with, but no, all just just go out there and start doing it, bro. Just do it. When you get the 320 videos, you'll know a little bit. That's it. Just do it. I'm not a camera guy. I'm, I was never okay. interested in cameras. I'm not that interested in them now. Someone else just said, <laughs> question, what do you recommend, spinning rod or baitcaster? Honestly, it's that depends preference, on bro. what, yeah, and that depends on, don't be mean, that depends on what you need, <laughs> said, like, what kind of fishing you're doing, honestly, like, eh, I like mean, what you're going to go be targeting, we use spinning rods, I would definitely, I would say spinning rod, I recommend spinning rod. Well, it depends rod. on what, you know. Uh, you know, big caster is a little harder to use, you're going to need a little more, more technique practice. with that, more practice with that, so if you're willing to sit there and practice, then, you know, the big caster is for you, otherwise, the spinning rod, you know, that's that's pretty you know easy to use and you don't really need a whole lot of practice with that so I definitely recommend that um, what kind of lures to use for the ocean uh, there's, we have videos. I don't know what to say about that. There's <laughs> so many kinds of lures, guys. Like that's like so how many. long is a piece of string? There's trolling lures. There's jigging lures. There's there's lures from the bottom. There's lures to troll 20 feet down. There's there's skirts to put on baits. There's there's hundreds and hundreds of thousands of baits out there to use. Really, even like wahoo lures, like cowbells, big heavy lures, and just like there's so many crazy things out there. So yeah, there's, there's a lot. A little there's bit a lot. A little there's a lot. Question. The answer is there's a lot. <laughs> All right. Are there any rays migrating on the West Coast? We don't live on the West Coast. We, West Coast. we live on the East Coast, so I wouldn't Probably. know the question, the answer to the question. <laughs> All right. Um, let's see here. Somebody else said, "Is it good? To, it, um, is lobstering good in the Keys during the winter time?" And I forgot your name, who you, who said that, but you know what, lobstering, lobster season opens like at the end of August, and it's open all the way through the year the to like. What? Is it the beginning? No, there's like mini season in oh, August. Oh, it's like the second week. I'm sorry. Sometime sure in August it opens. 
I'm not exactly sure what day this year, um, but you know, the loft season is open all the way until like the end of March or, so, or the end of first day of April or something. Yeah, but the so, point is if you have spots and you know where the lobsters are, it's good. Yeah, if you don't, it's not. Yeah, so. there's lobster there for <laughs> sure. You. you know, you just got to take the time. You got to be in the water. The water's going to be a little chillier that time of the year, so you might want to wear a wetsuit or something. But if you have the spots or you know where a ledge is or you found some good bottom structure, there's going to be lobsters there for sure. For you sure. got to know, know the spots or find the spots. Yeah. All right. What is your... the easy spots, they're all empty. When will you be in the Keys? We're going to be there in a couple weeks. Couple weeks. We're not exactly sure the exact date yet, but we're going to be there in a couple weeks. Couple so weeks. We're going to catch a lot of tarpon. Super excited. Super tarping. excited. Yeah. Tarping, 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 tarping. It's going to be awesome. Tarping. All right, we're 55 minutes in. All right. Well, Paint the do? house. Who's that, your dad? No. Who's that her dad? It was Brad Anderson, actually. All right, thanks, Brad. Yeah, I've been I go paint the house and then you guys all complain about there's no video. So, you know, pick your pick. Yeah, we've been talking about this a while now. Nothing's happened. Pick your poison. One of these days, one of these days. My dad has said that he would come help, so we need to do I'm going to make a video. It's going to be called, This is as much fun as watching paint dry. And it's actually going to be watching me paint and you watching paint dry. That's how much he hates painting his house. I'm not painting nothing. He's not painting nothing. All right. All right. We got to wrap it up. Three more questions. Yeah, so let's do three more questions survivor. here. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> paint the house. All right, hold on. You paint that. We're going to have a fan paint the house party. We're all going to come over. I'm going to give you a land shark lager each, and you're going to paint the whole place. Trev said, challenge, catch a tarpon fly fishing style. Listen, Trev. Yeah, what the I, time, Trev Cornwall. Yeah, I, I, know. Catch, I know who it is. I got to catch a tarpon on like a regular spinning rod. You got to catch a bass rod. first on the No, listen. I got to catch a real tarpon on a spinning rod and land the fish first before I get into the whole fly thing. And Honestly. Because um, I haven't still like, will. landed a tarpon yet, like officially so yet. Just got another order. New order. That's Thank two orders. Thank you very much. All right, two more yeah, questions. Um, yeah, so I definitely want to go, I definitely want to start the fly fishing, but I think I'm going to start with the bass and then work my way up. But yeah, I got to get a tarpon like on spinning gear first and then catch as much as I can until my arm falls off and then go with the fly rod. So we'll see. I still got a long way to go there. I still haven't officially like put my hands on a monster tarpon yet, so I need to get one to the boat. Um, but one of these days. Two more questions. All right. Da, 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 da. Yeah, so guys, ask some questions really quick. We got two more questions to answer. Two more, and then we're going to watch Survivor. And, and, and end this live stream. And for those of you that watch Survivor, we're recording it, so we're going to watch DVR. it without any ads. New order. New Thank order. you so much. Guys, you are awesome. Thank you so much. Everybody's ordering fish hook and anchor bracelets. Everybody Hell. must love them, you know, because I've got like all different kinds of colors them. there. I do. do. Like them. I've two got more questions. Them. I've got them in like four different, the, the, the charms, the actual fish hook and, and anchor charms come in four different colors, like silver, Where's gold, gunmetal black, antique brass. You want me to go grab it? No, no. Two more questions. All right, yeah. You guys can check it out on my website. I'm wearing yeah, it's, them. It's so. on website. All right, so let's see. Can't wait to get my bracelet. I'm looking forward Thank to making you. it for you. <laughs> she <laughs> I makes it all personally. Yes, yes. I hand make all the bracelets. And also, they're all like one size fits all, but if you have like a special request. the bracelets. Listen, I'm just gonna mention it. Stop. Go ahead. He's like interrupting me. I'm just trying to get to the point. But if you have like stuff for you ordering for little kids, like you know, under the age of 12, send me a little note into note to seller section and say it's for a kid. I'll make them a little smaller. And then um, if you would like them, request them a little extra large. If you have a large wrist, let me know note to seller section as well. But I make them like you know a standard size. All right, what's the best pier fishing bait? Well, we don't pier fish, so I can't answer that question. Yeah, um, but well, whatever. I'll answer the question. This is question number two. What, the best pier fishing bait is the bait that's at the pier. You go to the pier and you catch the bait right there and then you put on a big hook and you throw it off. We have a pier fishing video, just one, our first and last, but that's what we did. Check it out. Uh, you know, again, Darcizzle, pier fishing, whatever, Google it. All right, or we got a good question here. YouTube. All right, so Saul Trinidad says, hey, I have a question. I want to buy a new combo, but should I spend my... Oops, it just disappeared again. Crap. Yeah, you gotta get the you gotta do the, the thing. comments disappearing. I know. You away. gotta do the thing with the with the uh, super chat. You gotta do the super chat. Well, you just said two more questions, so that's One what more. I was doing. I know. Hey, I have a question. I want to buy a new combo, but should I spend my my money more on a rod or reel? I'm budgeting. Please, it would be awesome if you could answer. Please, real. please, please. More on the reel. Definitely spend your money on the reel for sure. For sure, right? Yeah, definitely on the reel, but let me tell you, you know, just when you're first starting out, I tell everyone this, just go get something and start fishing. You're going to, in a month or two months, you're going to have a much better idea what you want. You're going to try your friends 
and you're gonna get something else. So don't go spend a lot of money in that first first combo, man. Even get it at Walmart or whatever, you know, uh, and then see what you like. Just like anything else, when you start, you're gonna, you know, you're gonna change your mind and you're gonna yeah, like something you else. Yeah, you're like, gonna learn. You're gonna learn as you go. Yeah, and you might like you not like certain rod, things about the reel. Rod. You know, there might be something like with the clicker or something with the fail, something you don't like, and you want to get a different one. So right. just start get it entry level reel. You know, start there and yeah. go and go up. And that our sponsor Tsunami has you know yes. excellent uh, entry level and moderately priced they just gear. Have, they have new spinning rods and spinning reels that just came out. The uh, the shield. The, yeah, yeah, the tsunami shield. They don't have any left to give us. But. Check them out. <laughs> Check them out. Yes, yeah, I'm just saying they're sold like sold out. We don't have any in stock anymore. This thing, but um, I think they do online. But check them out. No, no, I mean they tsunami just don't have shields. like extras to send us. But uh, yeah, check. You know, so Tsunami's a good brand, but you know, there's a lot of good brands out there. And so, but again, just get something moderately priced. Don't don't get crazy. Do you sell our sizzle offshore decals? I'd like one on my pontoon. No, we are currently we're working, working on, on that. It. We. We're just having this issue with the logo and stuff like that, but we're gonna get it all worked out real soon one of these days and have that put up because I know a lot of people, a lot of people want those. And I, I want, do too, yeah, I, want I want those too, too and we can't seem to get it done. But we're gonna be working on that very soon. Hope we gotta like write out like a list of everything we gotta do. We There's so much team. stuff we gotta do, plus all this fishing. So it's like, <laughs> it never ends. It really never ends. Editing videos, it's it's just a never ending all right, let's wrap job. It up. But thank you guys so much for all the awesome questions. We're wrapping up the Q&A and wrapping up the unboxing. So if you're just tuning in now, check out the unboxing. That was earlier before I opened all these great birthday gifts from all you guys, my great fans. Thank you so much. Yeah, the awesome watch he's wearing. And uh, yeah, and just thank you guys once again so much. I'm not really sure what else I could say, but it's been awesome Tomorrow's so far. video is bass fishing, and the video after that is offshore and we caught a big sailfish yeah we got a we got a big sailfish landed it by the side of the boat awesome so expect some awesome content the next couple days and uh, you said that'll be up tomorrow bass is tomorrow we'll with captain pat yeah uh, on the lake and then the, the next video after that will be the sailfish yeah bass wow we've been here way too long we've been keeping you guys here for an hour so we gotta go <laughs> are they keeping us or are we keeping them? I don't know I don't but know. thank you guys for watching really do appreciate it thank you so much we'll be back next wednesday right Yes, next Wednesday, so 8 p.m. So we'll be back next Wednesday, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We're going to do this every single Wednesday. Hopefully a and seminar next time on knots. We Yeah, we're going to be doing a fishing up seminar. A yeah, we're going to be doing a fishing seminar next time. Um, so that way, for those of you that are beginners and want to learn some new stuff, you can always learn new stuff from different fishermen. So, you know, it's always great to share stuff like that. So we're going to be sharing a lot, lots of info about hooks. Um, so, yeah, we'll see you guys next Wednesday live, Eastern Standard Time, 8 p.m. Thank you. All right, thank you guys for watching. Follow your dream. Keep on catching. Dark sizzle out. <laughs>